In 2019, YouTube was caught violating the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA. Since settling, YouTube has enacted new policies that are meant to serve as a smokescreen so they can dodge responsibility and scapegoat creators. As such, for my own protection, it is my obligation to advise you that this video is not aimed at children. My target audience is not children. Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is The Sentinel watching over Geekdom, and welcome back to Sentinel Reviews. After numerous delays and false starts, we're finally ready to start looking at Dark Shadows, the horror collection with Final Judgment, released in January of 2010, written by D. Lynn Smith, directed by Darren Gross. Final Judgment stars Lara Parker as Angelique Bouchard and Catherine Lee Scott as Josette Dupre. As always, I will be discussing spoilers, so in the description box below, you'll find links to Big Finish's website, where you can buy either Final Judgment on its own or as part of the Horror Collection. And before we start, I want to start off with, what is the Horror Collection? The Horror Collection was released in 2018 from Big Finish, and it is a bundle of several single releases. Over the last few years, Big Finish has started doing this recently. They've taken several of their single releases of some form and started releasing them in digital only bundles earlier this year for example i bought the bundle for and reviewed sarah jane smith which was originally released in single releases and later released as bundles they've also done that for unit the original miniseries and the villains trilogy of all things for Dark Shadows, there are currently four bundles of these single releases, including the Horror Collection, which I'm reviewing. Um, Welcome to Collinsport, which features new characters coming to Collinsport, or old characters returning to Collinsport. The Tony and Cassandra Collection, which features stories starring lawyer Tony Peterson and witch Cassandra Collins. Spoilers for the 60-year-old TV show. Cassandra Collins is actually Angelique in disguise, and the Quentin Collins collection, stories starring and focusing on Quentin Collins, which, depending on how these go down, I may do the Quentin Collins collection next. Um, but, anyway, so that's what the horror collection is, and yes, I am trying to pad this out. Um, in an earlier take I reviewed of this, I found out that because the stories are actually so small scale, you know, there's nothing epic or grandiose happening. And um, so small cast, like I think the biggest story features only six people. There's not really a lot to talk about in terms of review for these stories. Um, and in my earlier take of this particular review, it was only under 10 minutes. And I think that's going to be the case for a lot of these again because they are so small and intimately cast that when you look at them on paper there's not really a lot to cover like final judgment which i will now start talking about and so basically the premise the starting point of final judgment is after her most recent defeat or what have you angelique is brought back to hell brought back to the dark lord her master so from what i've seen and read around in the series Sometimes it's Satan, sometimes it's someone else. It, it's a thing. But anyway, Angelique has been brought back to hell and she is being put on trial for her crimes. Her crimes against true love. Her accuser and her prosecutor is none other than Josette Dupre. The young woman who Angelique previously served and in Angelique's eyes was also competition for the affections of Barnabas Collins. And, you know, since dying, Josette has sold her soul to the Dark Lord for revenge against Angelique, which has led to this trial. And, you know, for as small a role as he plays in this, the Dark Lord is great. He's a really intimidating presence, and you feel him throughout the entire story. And you get this sense that he's playing a larger game. You know, he is always in control. And part of that is the stakes of this trial Angelique is being placed on. If Angelique is found guilty, he will get Angelique's soul. If Angelique is found innocent, he will get Josette's soul. So it's a win-win scenario for him. But the entire crux of this story takes place between in this trial between Angelique and Josette. 
And what happens is basically, as I mentioned, Josette is accu accusing Angelique of crimes, crimes against true love. And the performance chemistry between Catherine Lee Scott and Lara Parker is absolutely amazing. You know, um, just as another example of this, my favorite part of Bloodlust, the miniseries Bloodlust, is episode 12, the penultimate episode of the series, and it takes place entirely between Catherine and Lara. This time, Catherine is playing Maggie Evans. And it's the same thing here. It's pretty much the two of them for this entire story, and they just play off each other so well. The confrontation is so great. The writing for this story is really solid, too. You know, um, I like how Josette's naivete, her innocence, is really twisted in this story, you know, to the point that it almost seems she is, what's a good way of explaining it, maliciously innocent, you know, like, every time Angelique brings up something Josette did to her, Josette says, I had no idea. And similarly, the writing for Angelique is really strong too, you know, um, like, just the way she recalls these events that happened, and the way she's able to twist them into her being the victim. You know, like, in one of the examples she brings up, she says, when Josette left Martinique to move to America and be with Barnabas, she took Angelique with her. And Angelique believes it's because she knew about their affair, Angelique's and Barnabas's. Josette knew about it, and it was her way of twisting the knife. And similarly... Angelique is really conniving here. She's really good here. Like, and it just shows how twisted of a character she is. Like, um, she mentions you, she tells Josette, you wanted Barnabas just to have him because you were happy. You ran off and married his uncle Jeremiah. And when Josette points out, you put a love spell on us, she said, Angelique's retort is, yes, I did. But why didn't you come back? You know, tr true love is stronger than any spell I could have cast. And you stayed with Jeremiah. It's just, it really understands what the type of conniving person Angelique is. And like I said, that's what this entire story is. Like I said, it, this entire story is this trial. Um, And, you know, Angelique and Josette lobbing these barbs and accusations at each other and defending themselves... And there's just really not much to talk about. Final Judgment is a great, really small, really short story, but it it's boosted by its strong writing, which understands the characters, as well as its powerful performances. I will say, I am going to spoil the ending, because the next story in the horror collection is a sequel to Final Judgment. Basically, Angelique has twisted the jury so much, has twisted the story so much that... The jury finds her innocent, and Josette is dragged to hell. And then there's this really dark scene between Angelique and the Dark Lord, where, you know, basically from the beginning, the court was rigged, like Angelique believed. I didn't go over that, but basically the court was rigged, but it was rigged in Angelique's favor. I'm not going to rate any of the stories in the horror collection. Um, To me... They'd all get somewhere between an 8 to a 10. All of the stories in this set are that good. And I'm not going to rate them. And because of that, I'm not going to rank them either. Because there's no real flaws or drops in quality that would determine a ranking. It would purely be personal preference. Which does not make for a very good ranking. And so, I'm going to need to start thinking of decent conclusions for ways to end these reviews. Anyway, join me next week when we will be looking at the sequel to Final Judgment and Josette's journey through hell in The Lost Girl. But those were just my thoughts. Have you heard Final Judgment? What did you think? Start a conversation in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. In the description box below, you'll find the link to my Kofi, where you can help support the channel, and you'll find the link to my Twitter, where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is The Sentinel, watching over Geekdom, and I'll see you guys next time.